Okay, guys, welcome to Conqueror 4x4 Victoria. Thought today we'd just run you through the UEV 14, which just got launched here in Victoria. So uh, we'll run up the front. We'll start going through some of the features we've thrown on this one. So starting up the front, we've kept with tradition. We've gone to the DO35 hitch, allowing you great use off-road, great articulation, great amounts of just turning circle, and it allows you to get up those tight tracks and really move around off-road. Following behind that, you've still got your electric breakaway and your arc jockey wheels. That way you can unhitch, use it safely, and drive safely. Moving further back, you come back here. You've got a gas bottle box fit two massive nine kilo gas bottles up the front here. That allows you to run basically any gas cooking appliance for as long as you're away. And if you need to change them out, it's as simple as just popping the top. It's not on a hinge. It just comes up, lifts out, and you can change your bottles out on the fly. Moving further forwards, you've got a timber rack mounted up the front here. In standard Conqueror fashion, one of these is also located up the back, but if you do want to distribute your weight up the front, you can do it here. Moving further forwards in signature Conqueror fashion, you've also got your mount here for your axe holder. And if you come in behind this door, you'll find the standard Airbag Man air ride suspension system with your tank, compressor and gauge allowing you to on the fly lift, lower or tilt your trailer. Meaning if you go to a campsite, doesn't have to be flat, you can be off camber or on even on the side of the mountain, you can straighten the thing out, level it out, jump in, put your legs down and you're good to go. Like all Conquerors, they all have a trestle table included inside. In the case of the 14, we ran out of room inside so it was time to use the front space here. What we've done is we've mounted it up here behind a little stone guard, which acts as two things. Stops the stones bouncing off as harsh, and it also keeps your table nice and protected. So when you pull up at camp, you can throw it down, sit around, eat, drink, do whatever you please around that table. So on the Conqueror UEV 14 externally, we've had to add an extra arm onto the self-standing awning. Now, due to this, it does collapse in a little bit bigger, but it is still freestanding and it still can be used in all weather conditions. As you see here, we've had it out at this show. We've had it not tied down, just with the legs down, and it's managed to stay up pretty much all right. We've had a little bit of water on it, but all we've done to combat that, drop the airbags a bit, level it out, run the water off, and it's been Mickey Mouse good to go. We have a second option available on these trailers. For those who aren't in the more wet climates and you are just in the sun and you want something easy, we move over here and we've got the electric awning. So these awnings aren't as good in the weather, but they are easier to use. They cover a little bit less space, but again, they make up for that with the simple ease of just pressing a button and it rolling out. Moving around, you come around to the Conqueror kitchen. Like all of our Conqueror trailers, they are self-standing, no legs needed. You've got your twin burner, you've got your external fridge, which is a Snowmaster 82 litre dual zone. You also come here, like all other Conquerors again, you've got your removable tubs and buckets, as well as all your cutlery, pots, pans, and everything included inside. All right, so on the Conqueror Camper UEV 14, we've thought storage is gonna be a huge thing when traveling in small families or duos. To combat this, as we do have a smaller pantry size while retaining the same style. We've added two buckets here next to the kitchen so you can store all your larger items in there as well as another bucket opposite the kitchen and right next to that behind these you've also got a generator slide which you can use for your Jenny or any other large bulky items you want to use. Coming back towards the pantry as stated it is a little bit more shallow but you still can fit all your standard items, your little boxes of biscuits, your chips, your pastas, pretty much anything you want to run in there and it'll stop them moving around too much. We've also thrown some 12 volt ports in there as well as underneath you've got your dust suppression system so that while you're off-road you can get that positive pressure inside the trailer and it allows it to keep all the dust out and help retain that red dust from getting in. So the UEV 14 boasts a few new features we've thrown onto this range. Starting outside you've got two fusion speakers. These allow you to listen to music outside, listen to the radio and do what you want around your campsite without having to blast everything so loud that it deafens people inside. This system also operates inside and can be split so you can have loud outside and quiet inside or vice versa. Moving around a little further, you jump up inside and you might notice it's a little bit high because we've got the 285, 75, 16 wheels on there with the supplied mud terrains. Now, due to this, I could drop the trailer down to get you in or simple flick of a switch, the electric strip comes down, you can easily just get up into the trailer.